Hi, this is Dr. Val, and today we're going to talk about dividing tens. Dividing is like finding the missing multiplication factor. Let's take a look at a problem and see what that means. So Jason's friend loaned him 60 comic books to read. Jason wants to give them back in six days. And he wants to read the same number of comic books every day. So what do you think? How many comic books is he going to need to read each day? Well, let's see what we know and what we're trying to find out. We know that altogether he has 60 comic books. So that's the total. It's the total number of books. We also know that he only has six days to read them all. And we also know he wants to read the same number of comic books every day. So that means this is an equal groups problem. So we've got six equal groups, six days, and he wants to read the same number each day. What are we trying to find out? Well, how many comic books is he going to read each day? Well, that's the number that is going to be in each of those six groups, those six days. So that's what we're trying to find out. Well, how are we going to find that out? It's a missing multiplication factor. So what we can do is we can think about what would I multiply 6 by to get 60? Hopefully, you've become really fluent with tens multiplication. So you can kind of think through the tens or, and say, oh, look, 6 times 10 gives me 60. Here's another problem. Jason's friend loaned him some comic books. He wants to read 10 comic books every day. We know that Jason has 80 comic books in total that he wants to read. The other thing that we know is that he wants to read 10 comic books every day. So we know the number that's going to be in each of those days or each of those groups. What we don't know, what we're trying to find out, is how many days he's going to need to read all of those 80 comic books. So this is division two. It's just the reverse piece of information in the multiplication problem that we're missing. The other factor is missing. So we can think multiplication again. We can think, what would I have to multiply 10 by to get 80? Well, I bet you've decided that it's going to take Jason eight days to read all of those 80 comic books. Nicely done. So now we've seen that there are two kinds of division problems. Sometimes what we're trying to find out is how many groups. And other times we're trying to find out how many are in each group. Those are both division questions, as long as they're equal groups problems. And we've also found out that when we're trying to solve a division problem, where we're missing a factor in the multiplication, we can just think multiplication. So thanks for visiting today. And you're on your way to being all the way fluent with goal one multiplication and division.